Madam Secretary, one of the things that's happened in recent days is that people who have spent time with Putin, who have sat across the table from him at negotiations and talks over the years, say um, that as much as they might have either disliked or, or thought that Putin was ruthless before, he seems different. Um, he doesn't seem yeah. like himself. He seems like there might be something uh, wrong with him, that he might be nuts. Um, we've heard that from people who have been in diplomatic negotiations with him before. I, I wanted to get your take on that, both as somebody who has spent time with him, but also your take on whether or not that should factor into how we strategize against him now. Well, it's a difficult question to answer from afar, obviously. Um, I, I, I think uh, the reports coming out uh, suggest both uh, his temperament, uh, his paranoia, uh, seems to have increased dramatically his vindictiveness, uh, his dictatorial approach to the people around him, including his own military uh, leadership, uh, seems to have gone further and deeper than anybody had ever seen before. Uh, people have also suggested that maybe physically he's facing some health challenges. I think it's important for leaders, intelligence agencies, to get the best information they can. But ultimately, the people closest to Putin, those who have to deal with him, those who he's keeping at the end of 40-foot tables while he <laughs> issues bizarre orders, they're the ones who need to act. They need to act for the good of Russia. They need to stop him. Whether or not this has turned into some kind of physical or mental uh, problems that uh, he either had or has in some way uh, come down with, we don't know. But his behavior is dangerous, and it's dangerous to the future of Russia. So my hope is that the people who are watching him, those who get close enough to see in person his behavior, which is so erratic, that they can try to prevent him from doing things that will not only be tragic uh, for Ukraine, but tragic for Russia, too. This should be stopped for Russia's sake.